a, a basketball legend, a person of a regional experience and influence, a person we think who can take this team forward from its beginning into a winning team. Dr. Morrison, my sister, beard, was very successful in that. I, and his old heart chair with it, if I can help just a little bit. And I'd like to thank him. I'd like to thank the trustees. I'd like to thank the foundation for giving me this opportunity. Uh, there's no doubt about it. I didn't come here just to run a recreation program. I come here to be successful in basketball. Uh, but I also believe another thing besides winning. I try to set a good example. I try to get everybody to go to class. Uh, my roommate, uh, yeah, I was really surprised, was about three years ago, he's from Fairfield, he led the league in scoring, George Butler. He said, Coach, I would never graduate what had been for you. He said, what do you mean? He said, when I cut a class, you got on to me. I said, I didn't do that. Yeah, he said, you did. He said, every time I missed class, I said, you jumped on me. Well, here's what I feel has got to be here for our players. they got to go to class. They're going to get an education. I'm not going to say an education first and basketball first. That's probably not, that's the kind of stretch of truth and line a little bit. I believe basketball is pretty important. If you can win, you can discipline, you can get guys to do what you do. If you don't win, it's very difficult to do that. That wasn't even a note, but I, I said it anyway. <laughs> Let me tell you what else. Our golf coach, he beat me to death on the Chris Clay. And he's got his team ready to go. I'm just getting a good start. And uh, Jay Bernhard, highly organized, got a lot of food. Anything I ask him to do, he pretty well got it done. He's a tremendous young man. Our golf program will excel, I'll tell you. Uh, do you know that there? If I can get all the A's and C's right, I'm right. Uh, NCC 